Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I wanted to discuss a software update I'm pretty excited for, and usually I don't say that when referencing Apple's mobile updates for obvious reasons, being that updates typically patch jailbreak utilities. However, when it comes to the Apple Watch, it's a different story. This is Apple Watch OS 1.0.1, the first update for the device. <laughs> All right, and before we get started here, if you guys want a chance to win an Apple Watch of your own, be sure to stick around to the end of this video because I'm going to be going over my giveaway. And with that said, let's go ahead and get straight into this video. So to update your Apple Watch, all you have to do is launch the Apple Watch app. From there, simply go to General and then Software Update. And then inside of that section, you should see the Apple Watch OS 1.0.1 update. And it says that this release includes performance improvements and bugs fixes. So let's go ahead and tap learn more and we're going to quickly go over what 1.0.1 includes. So essentially it includes performance enhancements for Siri and let me tell you that sometimes it's really annoying when saying hey Siri because it just doesn't activate on the first time. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. So as you can see from that quick clip of my watch on OS 1.0, sometimes Siri doesn't always activate. Hopefully this update will address that. Also measuring stand activity should be improved, calculating calories for indoor cycling and rowing workouts, as well as distance and pace during outdoor walk and run workouts have been improved, and overall general performance boost for both accessibility and third-party apps. Also, we now have display support for new emoji characters that were introduced in iOS 8. Point three and OS 10.10.3. Previously, when you received a text message with one of the new emoji with skin tone modifier options, like on an iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch on pre-8.3, the Apple Watch would simply just display the typical emoji with the alien behind it, suggesting that it doesn't recognize certain elements of the specific emoji character in question. And why it didn't launch with support for 8.3 emoji, I have absolutely no clue. But it's here now with Watch OS 1.0. 0.1. And right below download and install, you'll notice that there are three prerequisites. First, your watch needs to be in range of your iPhone. Second, it needs to be connected to its charger. So I actually have the charging cable right here on my desk. And for the third one, it needs to be already at a charge level of 50% or higher. So let's go ahead and tap download and install. Even though my watch isn't on the charger, let's go ahead and see what happens. So now it's going to ask me to enter the passcode of my iPhone, and I'm gonna go ahead and do that really quick. All right, now that I have, you'll notice this terms and conditions page. Now, obviously I'm not going to read through this, so I'm just going to tap agree at the bottom right. And now it's just downloading to the watch. I'm actually not plugged in right now. I am above a charge level of 50% though. It says up in the top left-hand corner on my complication there, 80%. Let's go ahead and get a close up of that. So you know that my watch is indeed at a charge level of 50 or higher, but I don't have to be plugged in, at least not yet. Let's go ahead and see if that changes. Changes. We have about two minutes remaining on the download and I'll be right back as soon as anything happens. And by the way, the update was exactly a surprising 51.6 megabytes. Okay, and now it just moved to a preparing step. Still nothing is happening on the watch. I'm still at my regular watch face there. And when I press in on the digital crown, we can go to the home screen. So nothing happening on the watch just yet. It still says preparing on the iPhone. Again, I'll be right back. And now it just finished, but you'll notice I have this new pop-up here. It says installation pause to install update. Apple Watch must be connected to its charger and charged to at least 50%. So Setting the iPhone down, I have the Apple Watch here, and I'm going to connect it to its charger, and we'll see what happens. So followed by OK to the prompt, let's go ahead and tap install again and see if anything changes here. It still says to plug it in and charge it to at least 50%. I do, however, have my passcode prompt on the Apple Watch, so let's go ahead and enter that and see what happens. Okay, and now that I entered my passcode and it's charging, the Apple Watch went to the Apple logo, and on the iPhone it says installing on Apple Watch. So let's go ahead and see what happens from here.
So now we have a spinning logo on the Apple Watch. It was just very brief, and we have the Apple logo surrounded by a little wheel that has its progress indicator, similar to how the Apple Watch was actually set up. I don't know if you guys saw my unboxing video or if you have an Apple Watch yourself, but if you did or you do, you will be familiar with that process. And getting a close up here, because it's kind of hard to see, you'll notice that the progress wheel is slowly starting to fill in. So I'm going to set the Apple Watch down and we'll go ahead and return once it's finished. Okay, and now the Apple logo actually went away, came back up again, and we have another progress wheel focusing there. You can see that it's actually going a lot faster than the other one. The initial wheel took about 10 minutes or so to fully complete. So this one looks like it's just finalizing the settings here on the watch itself, similar to what happens on iOS when you complete an update. Okay, the second progress loader is gone. We have the Apple logo once again, and now it might just be rebooting. And if that's the case, it will take some time to fully come up here. The watch is back up now. I entered my passcode and you'll notice that the battery percentage is at 73 when it was at 80 before. So that's obviously why you need to be connected to a power source in order to install updates. It takes quite a bit out of this tiny watch here. And over on the iPhone, actually inside of the software update section, let's go ahead and recheck for a software update now and see what it says. Now it says watch OS 1.0.1 one, your software is up to date. So we're on the latest version now on the Apple Watch, and there's not really too much we can do to test it aside from testing the new and revised emoji, seeing as most of the changes are actually under the hood and performance based. So sending myself the exact same message as before with the same skin tone modifier, you'll notice that it shows up correctly now. So that's a good thing. Again, most of the other improvements are performance based. All right, guys, and that's actually going to wrap up this video. I just wanted to in install the watch OS 1.0.1 update along with you guys so you can see how it actually works because it's unique in the sense that no other mobile Apple product updates the way the Apple watch does meaning it requires another device to actually download the update and then to send it to it because of course you can't connect the Apple watch to your computer and use something like iTunes at least we can't as the consumers there is a mystery port hidden on the Apple watch underneath one of the side for the watch bands but beyond that we don't have access to it and we simply can update it through our iPhones so again it's unique I wanted to show you guys that process and if you like this video and this quick walkthrough be sure to rate it up and if you want to enter to win a brand new Apple watch of your own simply navigate to freeappsfast.com inside of mobile safari and sign up once you do come back here again rate this video up and leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section containing your referral code which is the piece that appears in the link itself after the equals symbol in the fourth tab down below at the bottom there. Again, I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you want to be updated more often, such as when I release new videos covering various things like the Apple Watch and jailbreaking, just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.